Hi there! My name is Giovanna and I am one of the makers of the Play Doh's Toys. And today, I will share with you about instant curriculum using our own felt toys. Let's start with our first selection, felt finger puppets. We have three different kinds. We have farm puppets, sea creature puppets, and zoo animal puppets. With these puppets, you can reenact scenes and stories. You can also invite your child to do sounds and actions of the animals. You can ask them to listen. You can do the sound. What animal do you think this is? Me! Horse! Yes, easy, right? And of course, you can also use the puppets to sing and dance. It is always best to incorporate songs if you use these toys. Now, how about the next one? Felt magnetic vehicle. So you can use these items, maybe in front of your fridge or any metal items or appliances that you have at home. Or maybe if you have a whiteboard, that would also be enough. Now you can ask your child to identify where you see each vehicle. Like where do you see aeroplanes? Do you see them on the land or up in the sky or underwater? Things like that. You can ask them to sort it according to its classification or you can tell them that the boss can be seen on the land, that the ship can be seen underwater at the sea, or ah, planes fly up in the sky, you can see them up in the air. And basically, you can also do a role play and pretend to be a driver, a captain, or a pilot. Now, with this, you can also sing transportation songs and dance. And of course, the most popular thing, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Beep, beep. And now, how about we go to our felt money? Why? did we make this set is because we want you to name the color and the shapes of the pretend notes and coins. This is under the math classification where you can also learn place values using the felt notes and at the same time do simple addition and subtraction using notes and coins. And of course, for babies, it would be tougher for them, but with your guidance, it would always be easy. Now, let's move on to our felt community map. This is applicable if you would like to learn uh, civics or Arling Anlipunan. Now, you can name the places that make up the community. You can talk about what are the buildings or what are the places that you see around our community? Uh, you can see market, you can see restaurants, city hall, or maybe the police station, hospital, bank, school, and so on. And of course, with all these places, you can ask them to identify and know the primary directions. What are the primary directions? You have the north, south, east, and west. And at the same time, you can invite your child to make their own scene or remodel and recreate his own set of community. And let's move on to our magnetic fishing set. Again, ah, we have 10 fish included in this set, or you can also say fishes. Now you can use fishing rod to aim and catch the fish. So this is also good to improve your eye and hand coordination skills. And at the same time, once you have caught the fish, you can ask your child to practice transferring skills by picking and putting the fish in 
container. And of course, sing a song and count the fish. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Simple song, is it? And now you have felt community helpers, which can be paired with our felt community map. So what are the basic uh, community helpers that we see in our community? You have to know the different community helpers around you, around us. And at the same time, you can use these felt dolls to create a story. And apart from this, you can also tell your child that there are occupations that can be done by a man or a woman. And you can strengthen one's vocabulary by practicing and interacting with other children. So it's always nice if you do this because who knows, they can be good storytellers or writers someday. Ah, let's love our own culture. We also made Pinoy Almusal set. Why did we do this? Because we want you to know the different, oh, that's a lot of different kinds of foods. Go, grow, and glow. Sorry about the typo over there. And you have to also stimulate imagination by using this doing kitchen role play. And at the same time, you have to learn base on how to prepare Filipino food. So with this Pinoy almost all said, you can ask your child, how did we come up to this? Did we boil? Did we fry? Or did we, what? Did we saute? Things like that. You can also tell them what these actions mean. And now, Let's move on to our felt solar system. This is for signs. I know that some of our children are excited to learn about the different planets. So you can name the planets in our solar system. And what are the different planets? We have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And at the same time, these planets can also be classified and organized according to its size or according to its rate. You can ask them to put all the big planets here, small planets there, and you can do more. And it's really up to you. And also, you can also test them by matching the name labels to the planets. And now, it's really fun because this toy is also detachable. This is a Velcro type of toy. And now, ah, another math activity. We can also learn counting using felt numbers. Not just counting other math concepts like colors. And of course, like sequencing. What do we do? We can jumble the numbers and invite your child to put them in sequence. What comes after one? What comes after two? Or you can ask them to count one, two, three, four, five, and so forth. And at the same time, you can also introduce one-to-one -one correspondence and point to each item as you count aloud. That is the reason why we included a 10 grade. Why? Because if you have, for example, six blocks, you can ask your child to put each block in a particular square. And you can also match the felt numbers that we have sewn for you. And uh, lastly, this is very easy if you are with your child. Even basic operations, addition and subtraction. So if you say, I have two cars with me and if i will add one more aeroplane how many types of vehicles do we have now let's count one two three ah you see or you can also ask the child to subtract i have five packs of 
food and I'm going to share two with you. So how many packs are left? Three packs. And uh, this is also something that's really very special because we really did this individually. Uh, felt letters. So these felt letters, you can also use them to spell words in a more tactile manner because this is something that's really different from paper. You can ask them to spell dog, D-O-G. Or at the same time, you can also ask them to trace the letters, D-O-G. And another thing is you can also name the things at home that begin with that particular letter. So apart from D for dogs, uh, what other things that you can see at home that starts with the letter D? D for daisies, D for doors, and a lot more. So these are some of the toys that we handmade for you and your child. And of course, these toys are also good materials for you to bond at home and do follow us on the following social media platforms facebook instagram and youtube just check for playlists i hope that you will keep playing creating and learning so once again this is giovanna and keep safe everyone bye